So now uh, in the previous thing, I told you we created one client thread which is extends thread. I mistake that in first part is we close that server uh, class above only. So the this class uh, client thread should inside only that server class. Otherwise, it will not run. So for that purpose, I am going to using inside only that server class. Now uh, we are created already this constructor. Now we are remaining with some methods, which is basically that get input each and everything as I told you earlier. So first create one input uh, or we can say we can create one method, which is get username for getting the username inside our uh, client thread. So let me create one public void. Get user name which is basically returning username so why it should be string let me tell you it is returning as a string so it should be string okay uh, it's not returning void or anything now i need to set the username Similar method public now it's it should be void set username again this uh, so let me check first if I use this set username e anywhere no. So set username is the first time part, so no need to require. I told you because uh, this is very uh, what we can say. Sometimes this is very huge code. Sometimes you mistake us in the some part, or you you know writing, or you can say upper case, lower case. So always remember you should go with that part. So. This is using the set username to the username. So this is done. So this is for the setting the username and all the things. So what I'm creating here, I need to create an infinite loop. Let me write infinite loop to read and forward message. Okay. So what it's actually going to do, it is storing in the as an object that message inside our client thread we can say and or we can say array class array list and what it will be do it will print that in a broadcast way so i need void method public void run run is basically for the running that uh, thread as you can say here we got as one symbol here so what is this thing is it is executing the thread class so run and you can say target run it is overriding method of this never change that part i'm again telling you that default libraries to loop until logout so what i'm going to do is boolean you know keep going i created on already boolean keep going is equal to True while keep going. I need to mention the reading part. So read string. Okay. So I, what I am going to do, I am going to read that string. So what the things we required here is very similar. I need to create try catch block. Uh, I will tell you what is going to do is read object. I'm going to this. This is chat message, and chat message is another class and this class, and it will go to that s input and each and everything. So as I mentioned, this we need to create this. Now what is remaining? Class not found thing here. So I am mentioning uh, what we can say fully specified catch block I, for I exception different class not found exception different because 
this is very important part here if you are mentioning exception e it will print all the exceptions but uh, for our client user interface purpose i am using this then i am going to me get a message uh, i should get that message from that part so what i am going to do is i am mentioning this part also so i will tell you where i am going to create this get message in the chat message and each and everything so what i need to do is i need to get a different action based on the type of that messages as i told you uh, if the that username part is different and each and everything i can uh, create switch case here so i will explain the switch case first here after this i will mention this okay now what are these things uh, after this chat message i am going to uh, ask switch get type which is basically in the chat message chat message is a message with uh, some broadcast it will what will you print the username and the message and what is the confirmation here if the confirmation is blocked no such user is exist so what is this part actually as i told you while i am asking if i uh, check for that add the red symbol here add the red drawn it will go to that private message part for such purpose what i am going to do i am creating here that broadcast part here so you can see i can send that part if i am printing logout from the user it will be disconnect for the who is in method it will print all username since that date part so this is all about things how we can create uh, so i need to create uh, if you out of the loop or disconnected i need to remove that id and etc things i need to mention here then it will be asked me for alt enter okay so this is it how we can create this part so um, let me do two three things here first uh, as i created here who is in method uh, 